String Studio VS3 is a sound design tool that uses a synthesis engine that starts with the model of a string. The string is excited either by a bow or one of two hammer motions or a pick. And the combination of the string with these exciters results in either a bowed string oscillator, a hammered string oscillator, or a plucked string oscillator. Now the properties and the output of the string oscillators can be altered in various ways. We can change the mass and stiffness of the exciter. We can adjust the dampening or the decay of the string or the stiffness of the virtual fret. And these can all be modulated either by key tracking or velocity. The output of the string is then fed into a filter which can also be modulated with either an LFO or an envelope. The signal is then routed into an acoustic soundboard of various sizes and shapes, called the body module. The signal finally is then routed through a multi-effects page that includes an EQ, compressor, a variety of modulation and delay effects, and a reverb. The architecture of String Studio VS3 is multi-timbral. Two synthesis engines can be either layered together or split into separate playback ranges. They're blended and panned in the layer mixer at the top of the interface. In addition to unique string oscillator and multi-effects settings, each layer also has its own set of performance controls in play view including tuning controls, unison mode parameters, glide controls, two separate modulation routings, vibrato, and an arpeggiator and step sequencer. The two layers are then fed through a global multi-effects unit before reaching the final output. Let's take a look at the String Studio VS3 interface. Here I'm working with a single layer and I've got an initialized string oscillator here and if we look on the synth page we'll see that it's a plucked oscillator. Let's alter how it's being excited. I'm going to dial up some of the damping and down some of the protrusion of the pick. And I'll dial up some of the stiffness of the pick and some of the velocity tracking for a sharper sound. Let's go to the string properties lower the decay and the damping as well and we'll change the key tracking for a more staccato sound and let's look at how it's terminated and we'll change the fret stiffness Let's turn on the filter. We'll go to a bandpass. And let's modulate it with the LFO. And we'll change the LFO rate. And let's turn on the body. We'll go with the guitar body. A larger size change the decay time. Let's look at the performance parameters. We'll add some vibrato. And we'll put on the arpeggiator. We'll make a shorter pattern. Let's look at the effects page. I'm going to EQ it a little bit. We'll add some delay. Add some chorus. Make it a flanger. And some reverb. Welcome to String Studio VS3.